John Higgins here with Mortgage One. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, just a little update on the market. So we saw uh, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell speak last week in front of Congress. That's coming off that momentous 75 basis point uh, rise in interest rates as far as the, the Fed funds rate go. That's something that, that the Fed hadn't done in you know nearly three decades. So uh, big news two weeks ago. Uh, leading into this week, off those remarks by uh, Chairman Powell, We've seen a little bit of downdraft in interest rates. Uh, we continue to say that that 3.5% range uh, on the 10-year Treasury at the moment has set a cap. So we're at 315, I think, this morning. So we've seen interest rates come off that quite nicely. The comments by Powell over uh, this past week, basically, you know, the entire conversation with Congress uh, dealt with Where's inflation going and what, what can the Fed do about it? We know that oil and food cannot be controlled by the Fed. So they're not a supply chain type uh, instrument. Uh, they're going to raise interest rates, hopefully get this soft landing, right, uh, that they're, they've they been talking about trying to bring the economy down but not send us into a recession. That, that, that will be yet to be seen. Uh, 2023 will be the year either we, we get that soft landing or, or we fall into a hopefully – uh, nothing more than a shallow recession. What's that mean for real estate? Well, you know, we've seen interest rates, you know, getting up around 6%. That has really driven a uh, demand down. So we've seen a little uptick in interest or uh, inventories. When we look at where uh, demand is, it's certainly off what we saw at the end of last year and, and maybe the beginning of this year. So a little more equilibrium in the market. We're seeing turn times on uh, listed homes start to increase a bit. So we're getting a bit of equilibrium back. You know, interest rates at the moment, I'll say, have peaked out. Uh, we saw 3.5% on that 10-year be uh, an area that the interest rates held, uh, and we're down to about 315 today. So as the Fed continues to push on interest rates and try to drive up their short-term rates, it's actually having the opposite effect on long-term interest rates, which is where mortgages kind of sit. So we've brought down uh, mortgage rates from their absolute peak, which was maybe three weeks ago. Um, I don't see a big change in rates. I think we stay in that five and a half to six percent range for the summer, but um, at least they're not going up. I guess that's that's the good news to take from here. So if you have any questions, uh, give me a call. Of course, remember any buyers that you've been working with, say from last year or maybe the beginning of this year, certainly want to revisit uh, those with your loan officer, get those people re pre approved. Uh, the interest rates are making a difference in monthly mortgage payments. And we are seeing quite a few people be disappointed, right, uh, where they were at the end of last year and their purchasing power and where they are today. So have a great week. We'll talk to you soon.